Welcome to Star Wars Lost Hyperspace, a Star Wars podcast where we talk about everything Star Wars. Punch it. You thunder against me! You have done that yourself! There's nothing more we could have done. There's too much Vader in it. The boy you trained, gone he is. Hello there, welcome to Star Wars Lost Hyperspace, a Star Wars podcast, and I am your host, Isaac Wilder, and we're here to talk about, um, uh, we're here to see what's going on in, um, Star Wars Lost Hyperspace, and, um, we're here to talk about Star Wars Visions, and the episode that we're going to talk about will be The Village Brides. And the ninth Jedi and 2B1, which is actually T O B1, but for short, I said 2B1. Um, and when I say we, uh, my my good friend Matthew Manchester, watch it, watch it, everyone. And yeah, uh, Matthew, Ma- Matthew, what did you think of the village bride? I think it was nice. It was nice. Um, it was cool to see the. Well, it was interesting about the philosophy of. Mm-hmm. Well, what we saw was a bo- was the, a young man killing uh, his patrol, <laughs> mm-hmm. and he um, was killing her. And that was because it was forbidden for her to get her feet dirty. Oh, maybe she didn't want her to walk. It could be she didn't want her. She didn't want her to walk. He didn't want her to walk, so. He didn't want her. Yeah, he. He didn't want her to get her feet dirty, so. That's probably the reason. Yeah, uh, let's go with the. What did you think of the Jedi in in this uh, story? In the village bride. I think it was interesting that he, um, that he, um, well, she, right? Mm-hmm. The Jedi. Yeah, she, 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 um, she came to the planet because of her master. Mm-hmm. And that, well, she, did she have a, was that her friend? Yeah. Oh. There was the helmet. Yeah, it might be a friend or just a man who, uh, to a who asked. Yeah, who asked him? Uh, who who asked her for help? Or oh, a man who was trying to uh, <clears throat> uh, maybe show her something. Do you know, like Cal, uh, when he traveled with these people? With uh, people who rescued him. Yeah. And then they sent her to find this Jedi Master. Yeah. And then he ended up finding out the Jedi Master's gone. It's just a hologram. I guess. Um, so that's... BBD or... I don't... Who <laughs> the... BB something. I don't remember. It was a droid. He ended up finding... You know, and... I don't... <laughs> no, that that sounds dear. I I dear sounds like uh that was the droid from episode. Yeah, dear. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, think I got, yeah, I think it, that's it, what you're thinking of. Yeah, but I'm. Um, but yeah, whatever. This this is what makes me think of maybe she got called to this area and. She is, um, 
she's probably like um she kind of has a mission or she didn't really have a m- mission did, did she uh maybe maybe she was maybe trying to let go of the past or oh, let go oh I don't know well, that 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 part was confusing. It's also so the brides are getting married and then so they can give themselves to the separatists from what it looks like. And then the her sister did not like that, so her sister started uh Well, what are you saying rebellion or Rebellion or resistance, so people rebellion resistance are people who both try to the same thing. Creating a group of people that were trying to fight against um um her world or trying to take away the separatists and they end up being and then their sister end up getting caught and then um she um I find that very interesting about the idea that <clears throat> All within that conflict, it it the um just the whole scenario was very different from what I'm used to. Mm-hmm. But the it was interesting of how the Jedi um stepped stepped in. Yeah, that's well, that's one of the things I found very interesting too. That she she basically did what Kylo Ren did with. The blaster. Oh yeah, she stopped. She stopped the bullet. And then when they were trying to shoot the, the bride's sister, Mm -hmm. she stopped the bullet. And then she and her lightsaber looked like a dark saber. Uh, but the only difference was the very yellow yellow blade. Yellow blade and also somehow her slippers was turned in such a, ah. High heels was turned in such a way that was like I thought that was a weapon for a second, but when it turned to a certain way, and then she zoomed quickly and cut that guy in half. I kind of, of course they couldn't show that because they had to make it PG. But I, even in PG movies, sometimes they do show that, but blood and stuff like that. But yeah, so. uh, let's get to um. The Ninth Jedi, what did you think of that one? I think it was interesting <coughs> where the this Jedi was called to this, was it a Jedi temple? Mm-hmm. Or was it a Sith temple? A, it was a Jedi temple. A Jedi temple and he, and he, and he met each of a Jedi. Yeah, so the thing, the thing was like. Where he found what he perceives as Jedi. Yeah. The thing is, he gathered this... So, these Jedis were all gathered together in a... Uh, out of space. A in space a, temple. A space temple. <laughs> that <laughs> which, is a, which, in one sense, kind of looks upside down, but it's not. Yeah. So, Look. they they gathered to this temple. I think they came... So, the lightsaber were gone for many, many generations. They were gone. They disappeared from the galaxy... And only a few people has found it. And there's a lightsaber smith. Yeah, and then the lightsaber smith is created how the um jet is. But that's different from from the traditional Jedi going to a to a Jedi temple, getting a crystal, making their own lightsaber. That's different. It kind of changed. Yeah, 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 yeah. But also. Yeah, somehow the lightsaber was also coming from space. They used these tools to pull out the crystal, this machine that founds crystals, and then it calls it back. It basically, like, it's a fishing thing. Like that a they... magnet? Yeah, 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 yeah. Curse, yeah, but they fish, they fish the crystal out of space, and then zoom, it falls on that planet, and then they have to get it and then they have to um it looks like they have to kind of like break in pieces to try to make it yeah so. and that actually made him more like a smith form the there was the furnace and 
and I was just sort of pouring metal into the furnace to melt it, to shape it, all of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they could have changed it a lot. Yeah, and then there was this robot that was introducing, basically who came to introduce all the Jedi. From the beginning, we thought, I, I honestly was fooled because I thought all of those people who gathered together there were Jedi's. That's so what I, I I thought they were all Jedi and somehow I was end up being fooled thinking it was all Jedi but then they all end up not being Jedi. It was well, the funny thing is they made the guy who we just first meet for the first time he's an actual Jedi we saw one of a guy yeah. that was influenced by the darkness but he was a Jedi the the guy who was who had invited them all to be there, was there the whole time. And mm -hmm. what, what, the main thing that stood out to me was that girl that was, with, that was taking the vice sabers. To the Jedi. Yeah. And then he ended up finding out, she, en she ended up finding out that not all of those people who were there were Jedi. Mm -hmm. There were a few Sith and it, there was a, I think that was, <laughs> She also used the lightsaber, but it was colorless, which is yeah. one of the main things that stood out to me. Yeah, the Ninth Jedi, I think it's my favorite episode so far, as far as I've seen. Do you think that's yours? What do you think? Uh, which, which one would you I like think the, of? I like the Ninth Jedi. Yeah, I, 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 I thought the Ninth Jedi was like one of the um, perfect episodes. Um... So there, it yeah. was just different from different ways. Basically, it's like seeing Star Wars in so many years from now, and so if this actually happens, this will definitely will have to happen years after. Um, ways. Um, what? Time period where yeah, she's many many generations. Yeah, she's where where is a Jedi now calls herself Skywalker, has a yellow blade, and all of that. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder. Um, so we end up figuring out the lightsaber turns color. The crystal turns color by, by your, with, it was the um. Those who we thought were Jedi were Sith, and that was why the blade turned red. Yeah, so when you're consumed to the dark side, from what I've heard or read, that the bl your blade turns color. Your blade turns different color. So when I saw... Um, like, they say, they say the same thing with when when Ahsoka comes in as a way with a girl with white blade. Yeah. She says she got those crystals from the in the crystal blade. And then somehow they turned white. So I'm wondering did she find a right a white crystal or did Well they were both in the crystal's blade mm -hmm. which is red. Yeah. Then clearly there has to be some transition transitioning from color to color. Yeah, and also I'm, that's one of the reason why I asked because I was like, are all the Jedi so yellow lightsaber? We only see yellow lightsaber on people who are more like temple guards. Temple guards but or people who protect. So I'm wondering what the, I think there are Jedi whose role is to be a temple guard. Yeah, and then. But I'm wondering what the yellow light, yellow lightsaber symbolize. Like the white ones, we know for sure it symbolize that not legion to anyone. Yeah, not a Jedi nor a Sith. And so what would the Sith, yellow one? Dark side is red all the time. Blue, blue, dark, green, blue purple, green, purple, or all, or all light. <laughs> all light colors could be green, blue, purple. Uh, Black would be an interesting question to consider. Yeah, that, that's also the dark saber is black, and that was at the um, Death Watch. The leader of Death Watch said that that was a Jedi blade. 
He that used he, to belong to a Jedi. That he took from... That a Mandalorian took years ago. Yes. Man, was it man? Yeah. So, yeah, the theory of lightsabers always... It's what always I, changed. Always it's what changed. I'm interested in. And, um... And, yeah, that... that the... Um, the Ninth Jedi was also one of the things that caught my eye was that uh, jet, the other the Jedi that was inside the droids and then popped out at See, the end. He was the guy that invited he, all of them over. Yeah. And yeah. He, was, he was just a the te- sort between... He was there to discover who was... Seth, who was Jedi. Who was Seth, who was Jedi, yeah. And his blade looked like Kylo Ren. But instead of having the two sharp edges, the two side edges that looked like a cross, yeah, it had like a little rope going around the lightsaber, which is what caught my interest when I was um, uh, the, the watching. The kind that Kyron had was was one that was a that was very old from very in the back years ago, cause mm-hmm. yeah. I found a light side one, a green one, that was losing its color because okay. it was so dim. Yeah, while we're talking about lightsaber, what makes me interesting is like manga, manga vision, the anime vision stories, Lego stories, they all come up with like cool versions of the lightsaber. And find ways. A blade, an arm. I'm like, well, we see Grievous with a bunch of lightsaber on his hands. But they were all simple. Yeah. One blade. No, yeah. In nothing, nothing um, cool. Nothing. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was more like, oh, that was a Jedi blade. Like all of the Jedi, like almost all of the Jedi blades are one bladed. Yeah. If you go back to the duel episode, the duel. You can see that um, more. We could see the umbrella like one. Yeah, yeah. The that's umbrella-like that's one. the one. I yeah. The episode the duo had the umbrella like one, and I'm like, I want to see that into live action. I want to see something like that in one of these Star Wars, so, um, yeah. Star Wars things. So yeah, that's one of the. And I, the I whole, just want to. When the lightsaber, the left side, the blade, uh, the handle of lightsabers could be recycled. As we see when it was turned into a mic in the jazz one. Mm-hmm. The yeah. jazz episode. The uh, tattoo. The Tattooing rap Rhapsody, yeah. <laughs> I'm still bothered by my epis- that episode. It you still feels like, you still it still like feels it. strange to me. Um, let's go to two B one. Which it sounds like O B one. Or that, what I would say to B one as to be one with the force. Like there, okay, there, yeah. there's like <laughs> I like I'm one with the force. I'm one with the force, and the force, force is wrong with me. With me or... well, I'm the one with the force, and the force is with me. Uh, but it could be, but the I, the way they say, it I like say to be one. I I just go by to be one because it reminds me of Obi one to be one. But the, I, 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 actually, the, what they say is T O B one. They call him T O B one. T O sounds like two to me. And yeah, B one is like. To do. be one. To yeah. be one. I know there isn't an E in there, but it sounds like to be one. Yeah. Don't judge. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah what you, do you guys th- watch it. <laughs> you guys have yeah, what, your opinions. So, to be one was about a subnet- subnetic droid who always dreamed of being a Jedi. Being a Jedi. <laughs> which is also kind of strange because I... Which is why Vision is... That's one of the things I found strange about Vision is I feel like they're trying to mix stuff now. And now it looks like droids can be... Well, then... Wasn't there a comic where 
about why he was trying to make use of meditation. Yeah, there was one. I don't remember which one. I think were. that was There was a Star Wars comic about it. And the main character was uh, Chess. Just uh, yeah, Chess yeah, yeah. Jedi. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember. Yeah. I remember the book you're talking about. I don't remember the story. Uh, um, but yeah. And now we see this to be one. Fine. T O B one wants thought, to be. You thought you thought Vader was a was a droid. So true. For the, uh, the first time I thought that's not possible. A droid can't have a child, and call him Luke. And I'm like, oh, that's if he built Luke. Unless if I was thinking, oh, Luke is a robot. Then but Luke didn't sure. look like a robot. If anyone looked like a robot, it was Vader. <laughs> but I didn't know that, so I thought, yeah, that's not possible. Luke, Darth Vader can't be. It, it, Darth, it, it, no, Darth Vader can't be Luke's father. That's it, just not possible. It didn't make sense. And I saw Episode Four first, so the New Hope. So I mean. It makes but sense why when, I had that question because I thought then, Vader was all robot, robotic. But then when you saw episode three, it made sense to you, and episode two made explained why it happened. And also, I thought when he took when Luke took off his helmet as in episode six, and I was like, "Ah, oh, okay, I get it now." But I thought you wa- I thought you told me that you had watched. One, two, three, before you... You watch four, five... I watched watch, four, five, and six. Um, and I still didn't... And I still didn't... I thought you watch... I thought you said that you watch... One, two, three... After five, before six. That, it I, could... I, it, I thought you said okay, that, that confusing, it, it's been a while. Yeah, it could have been that way. It could, it could have been that way. It could it's have been... been else since, yeah. I've yeah. seen it, so... Yeah. Um, yeah, 2B1 also interests me, by, by see, first time I thought yeah, it was dream. Maul, so this droid who's having a dream, and then later on, he's like, she, I have a dream. He was, he's looking, his master assigned him to look for the crystal, and he couldn't find the crystal, his master told him, you need to have, you need to use the force to find the crystal. He's he goes, in, he goes, yeah, he goes around looking for the force, and he said he couldn't find it anyway. The funny, that's the thought I find funny because the force is not something you see. Yeah, it is it's something in all living things. But joy, I don't take that's the thing is, droids are technically not, it's ran, they're ran by machines it's, and oil, they're not technically a living clones, thing. Now, clones is alive, they are, I would say, clones look me. It would make more sense for yeah for clones, for clones. definitely for a robot. Sense. I no. was like, something is not right. Yeah, some then, droids don't. But then, then if you thought Vader was a robot and you saw Vader use the force, <laughs> that kind of your condition. Well, that's yourself. different. I didn't know. I did not know. I did not know for the force and not say. But once I watched the other the. Well, one, two, and three, I thought, okay, Yoda says the force passes through every living thing. And then I started seeing Darth Vader, Anakin. Darth Vader was Anakin, so he was a human being before he became a droid. So I'm like, okay, that makes sense now. But seeing a droid use the force and the way... Actually, did did we see him use the force? I think he used the light. Oh, yeah, he did use the force to put the the lightsaber together. Yeah, that that part I was like, no. That makes sense. No, no, no. <laughs> I think of all the episodes we've seen, that was been the confusing one. Yeah, that that was a bit confusing. Oh. And the it was interesting. The old man ended up dying, and then... and he f- and he had a fight. That well, when we watched the trailer, you thought it was a, was one of more old species. Yeah, I thought it was one of more species. Wasn't. Oh, more. But I end up not. It being... was some random dark side user that we know nothing of. Yeah. Who's hunting Jedi, so. Yeah, so um, Star Wars rules keep changing and now droids. 
possibly can start using yeah. the force now. Yeah, that reminds me of of some late, what we're going to talk about later on. Yeah, um, um the the new exciting Nintendo Switch game. Yeah, that I can play because. I don't have a switch, but I might be able to play. Yeah, but he has a switch. I, I have, but I do have. It's it too it close, like it's too close, to like Apex. So that'll be where it's Apex then. Fortnite, or it could be, um, like a Star Wars version. Of so that. like a Star Wars version of Pokemon. It could be like Pokemon where you're oh, basically the like the battle. Yeah, the, you the know, battle gyms. Yeah, battle gems or like that. It could be like that or like multiplayer game like Apex and Fortnite. Those are the guesses what it's gonna be and yeah, that game looks um pretty exciting and let's see how that game let me get in here and let's go to that game. Um also that game also does have another it has a droid. A droid Pe- people as think, a Jedi. Yeah. That was... Mm, so, so we that, do say... Because we, we saw that... Yeah. Before we watched Vision. So, mm-hmm. we, so maybe the 2B1 isn't very... The whole droid using the Force is not totally new. Or is it? I feel like... Either Lucasfilm is doing this or Disney is doing this. Whatever. But then I feel like Star Wars rules keep changing. The Dark Saber, George now can use the Force. Who know? Who know what we're gonna have? Well, we Flowers can see. turn into aliens. I don't know. Something like that. I feel like just a lot of the um, the rules are yeah uh, changing. And then another um, news that still. A big news about Boba Fett's trailer coming on Disney Plus Day. So you guys may want to check on that. That's going to be something exciting to... Uh, I guys, I need to see it. And then we, then I might... Do you have any guesses? On what? At, about it ahead of time? Um, you you already told us the, um, the names of the episodes... Do you have? We it's been a while since we talked about. It. Do Do you have any um, new theories? Like, do you still have? Uh, the I old still ones? have the same theories I've had for the last um, for the last for the since the last time we talked about it, I still kind of have the same theories. So, yeah, um, that's why I I really think. This Nintendo game is gonna be a great game. I just can't play. I have the PlayStation Five but years and Nintendo, the- and it doesn't come for the PlayStation. And I don't want a Nintendo. Maybe, maybe if you want it so badly. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I w- I have to see if it ends up. If it's like like Apex, Fortnite, well, definitely yeah. a game I would play. If it's like. Or you, you like... If it's like any game, I think I will play because it's Star Wars, man. It's Star Wars, dude. Anything with Star Wars, I would want to play. I would. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah. <laughs> it's like anything. It's like I don't like... I can get spoiled in all type of movies. You can spoil me. Marvel movies, you can spoil me. DC movies, you can spoil me. Warner Brothers the, movies, the Universal movies. Even a trailer can spoil the like the whole thing to you. Yeah, you told me that all you have to do is watch the trailer and then you know everything that everything you know. that happens. And I have made and they those. They don't need to watch the movie. <laughs> um, but yeah, I I would I would tell you spoil me anything in the world. Spoil to me. Do you, not you, spoil Star Wars. That's where I put my limit. Do not ever stu- spoil to me Star Wars. Yes. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's one if of the things. If anyone out there is tempted to do such, listen carefully to our words. Uh, yeah. Uh, spoiling Star Wars is a big deal for me. 
Like, Never don't, ever. Don't do it. <laughs> don't like. Okay, let's get to um uh, the new Switch game called Star Wars. Um, Star Wars. About mm, wait. Star Wars Hunters. It's a new Nintendo game and iPhone, I think. Maybe you'll have a chance of getting an iPhone. Who knows? It's, uh, okay. We would just yeah. talk about it, so yeah. Let's see. So it starts with... The bounty hunter and this girl, this woman who's a Sith. And then those words that says, I'm hoping it says bounty hunter. Got her in my sights. Going in. Lose your team. I wonder if, is that a, I think that's a Mandalorian. A Mandalorian. I, I think that's a Mandalorian. I don't think it can be any other bounty hunter. I think it's just man. It could be a bounty, Mandalorian's a bounty hunter. But I, I don't think, think all of them are, but. So like, like, so not all. I would have thought all bounty. I I would have thought that all Mandalorians are bounty hunters, but not all bounty hunters are dwarves. Uh, are well, Mandalorians. Mandalorians. Yeah, that could be. That's Again, what I don't need them to take you on, Aaron. She hides behind you the have wall. To do better than that. It's all yours, Gross. I love that Wookie. So there's a Wookie, and then it, his name is Grog, 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 whatever his name is. But yeah, uh, let's, let's continue to say that. Yeah. Uh, oh, he smashed her with it. You can also find this trailer on YouTube. For the Empire. the Empire. See, yeah. and then there's a stormtrooper with a machine gun. And, and it says for the Empire. So yeah. So it's an imperial, imperial he, stormtrooper. Yeah, and not his hel- and his helmet not, is cracked. It's not it's not it's not a clone trooper or or a first order. It's an imperial Imperial Stormtrooper. Yeah, because he says for the Empire. Ooh, I can handle this Sentinel. Sentinel. Okay, Sentinel. Big um, that's always do you see how the man the the Mandalorian like s- did his thing and there's a lot of fire. Mm-hmm. I'm wondering where does the fire come from? And if there's a fire there's some place the fire comes from, how does it not burn them? Hmm. See? That's the thing. It's how much fire do they hold on those armors? <laughs> Any fire hey, you didn't wake up. That creature Yeah, that's the droid. So the, wait, let me give it. So the Jedi just said feel. The droid just said feel the light side, Jedi. Feel the light side, Sith. Oh, Sith. <laughs> I said Jedi. Sith. It's now or never. Agreed. It ends See, those here. are love arena. And, and uh, Jawa. Jawas are also in there. I don't know if that's a weapon or that's also a lightsaber. Uh. I, I don't think it's explosive. No, it's explosive. It's explosive. It's now yeah. or never. Agreed. It ends here. <laughs> Looks like we do this together. Let's show what we got. See that creature reminds me of. It looks um, like a pig creature. Isn't that um? Reminds me of Hondo's um crew member. Yeah. Uh, Pig. Yeah, that's also what it reminds me of. It also reminds me of the character who was selling, um, who told uh, Cass to go buy the Gorg, the creature that yeah. that ate him. The people who sold those things. It looks like him. Ah. Uh-huh. And then there's a black woman uh, who ha- who came in who looked like work for the resistance or for the Empire. Well, look at that. And he's writing, and the guy who said, let's show him what we got, the guy we were just talking about, he's writing on one of those, uh, um... Destroyer droids. Destroyer droids, or whatever, the ones that... Yeah, that's what, that's yeah. what, um... Okay. That's what 
Obi Wan's called them. Yeah, and they're using and he's using it as a weapon. And then the woman's walking back. Yeah, she has a resistance symbol. On my mark. And it looks like they're fighting in the arena and people are watching. So yeah, this is Star Wars Hunters. Star Wars Hunters. The I'm Nintendo Switch. That's a huge game. I'm on a winning streak here. Do not let me down. So this the Sith woman says, "I'm on a really, I'm a, on a winning streak. Don't let me down." And then she the Wookiee. She does no, I'm failure. And then the other bounty hunter says, "You must be going off our record because." This is probably a game because they have a record all together as a, a team. Like a, and then record would be in this case be like uh um what you're known at, known for. Yeah. You must be going for my record. And then the Wookiee left. And now, here are today's combatants. This order good. Yeah, so that's what coming soon. So that's what's coming. Yeah, so that's what's coming soon on 2022 Star Wars Hunter. Um, next time we do another podcast, we gotta start closing up here. Uh, um, next time we do another podcast, we'll bring you some news. Uh, what's gonna go on on the book of Boba Fett? On the book, what what's gonna happen? Uh, uh, I'll probably have some news of what's gonna um, happen uh, in the book of Boba Fett, and and when the release day, when more of them will be released, and yeah, uh, Matthew, um, do you have uh, any? Last thing to say? No, I don't. Please tell us what you think and make sure to subscribe into our podcast, into our YouTube channel, and we'll we'll appreciate that a lot. And yeah, this, you know, this is it. May the force be with you. May the force be with you. Always. Always.